So whether you're building your first brand or you're just looking to get inspiration as to how you could build a work from home setup, in this video, I wanted to take you guys behind the scenes to our home studio tour. And this video is gonna be a little more realistic as we're gonna show you guys how you can actually work and live from a space that you call home. Now, this all begins with my favorite spot, which is the living room. Uh, the living room here allows us to not only eat, but it allows us to meet. And, uh, and the meeting room is really cool because it's open, it's airy, and we have our baby there, which is getting ready to eat. Yeah, so, uh, so as you guys can see, it can get a little chaotic when you have a baby. So it's always good to just kind of have a space for mommy and for, uh, and for our work to also get done. Uh, we also have some great meetings. We have Sunny here today who, uh, who is in the Christmas spirit. Love it, love the hat. <laughs> and uh, of course, we set up the Christmas tree to spread the Christmas cheer. Before I take you guys upstairs, I just wanted to say that, again, this is gonna be an actual work and life type of space. This isn't a minimalistic, this is how you can maximize your little bedroom. We started from a small bedroom out of my mom's house at first, and it had to be minimalistic because we didn't have that much space. Um, and as we moved and as we've grown, we've moved to different uh, houses over the last few years. And we've found out that it's very hard to maintain a minimalistic feel when you have a lot of different life events happening all around you, whether it's kids, whether it's family. Um, it is very difficult to do that. So I wanted to shoot this video to show you guys how we accomplish it and perhaps share with you guys some ideas into how you can accomplish it in your own life. Meaning, how do you actually make it work? So let's head on upstairs to show you. Now, before I show you guys where all the filming and online events and things that we do out of the loft, I want to show you guys where all the magic happens. Come take a look. Hey, bro, what's going on? Oh, dude, I thought, aren't you supposed to be getting ready for the Christmas photos? It's on the calendar. Wait, what? Christmas photos? Yeah, isn't... Oh, wait, that's tomorrow. <laughs> oh, wait, my bad. <laughs> what are you no, doing? What, what are you doing? What do you have the camera? What's well, going on? We're doing the home studio tour today. We're going to oh, talk about tech dude, and stuff. But what is this? <laughs> Just some... Awkward Christmas photo ideas I thought of, you know, so. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, so, just get so some you ideas. Were, you were ready, but not ready, but you're always ready. Yeah, you know, you got to stay ready, especially when it comes to creating content for you guys. So. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So we're doing the home studio tour today. Yeah. So tell us about what's going on, where the mag this is where the magic happens. Yeah, so. no, this is where the magic happens. So uh, as you guys can see here, we have a full studio set up. We have computers, we have laptops, tablets the whole nine yards when it comes to creating content we want to make sure we have enough stuff uh, for us to shoot for you guys so i guess let me start off with uh, my system and then i've gotten a lot of questions regarding what i use um as you can see i have a pretty big screen here so when it comes to editing uh, the videos and the content for you guys i make sure i have a big screen so this is an lg monitor a wide screen display big screen the big screen you know you got to go big or go home right and then and when it comes to the system, this is actually something I've been wanting to build for like a very long time. So I have finally had a chance to basically build my dream PC. Oh, what's, what's, what's this entail? What's in it? Um, it's an AMD uh, PC, it's not, no Intel stuff here. Actually, there is Intel stuff here. So any, any of you guys that are AMD or Intel fanboys, let me know, leave a comment down below. Um, but uh, this is the new one that I built, AMD Ryzen 3990X uh, with the uh, 2080 Ti. I know you guys, I just bought this like a few months ago. So if you, any of you guys that are tech people out there know that I kind of messed up by buying that too soon or too late, I guess. So what does the colors mean on that thing? Uh, nothing. Just, it's just, you know. What about that number right there? The number that's, that is the temperature of the CPU. Oh, I thought it was like yeah. a bomb that you were setting up. No, no bombs in here, guys. <laughs> no, don't even say that word. <laughs> YouTube, sorry. No, there's no, no, no bees in here. I built this thing from scratch. Um, well, obviously ordered all the parts. On new eggs so if you guys are interested in wanting to build a pc we have some links down in the description and then this one we have as a secondary workstation uh, so when it comes to getting people working remotely this can actually be accessed from anywhere literally when i say from anywhere we have people from all over the world that we have our editors and our uh, editing photos or videos they're accessing this system remotely that way we keep everything it's like ours ours we don't send it off to drive unless we have to um, and it's actually down here. Um, this is actually the, the very first PC that I built back in 2012. So that is a little older. It's an Intel based uh, with 32 gigabytes of RAM and the old 9080 Ti card in there, but nothing super special. But definitely if you're looking to work from home or if you're looking to build an office, having a PC with a direct connection to the internet is the most important thing. So that's where I'm actually gonna move towards next. 
This right here, we actually built. That's a bad boy right there. This is the, this is the, the big boy as I like to call it. I still don't have a name for it yet. I'll have to come with a name, but if you have a name for it, drop it in the comments down below. Maybe you guys can come with something, but um, if you don't know what this is already, this is a server chassis, a case, and inside we have basically Ooh. everything that we, that we need all backed up on here. So this has all of our content that John, Amanda, and all of the future content that we will shoot has, it's all in here. So this is a, basically a server, but it's a home server media server so you can access all of our files on the fly we don't have to use these hunks of metal anymore but these are also really good so if you're looking for an alternative to something like this obviously this costs a lot of money these are really good um you can find these like on amazon obviously they're just storage drives but they're really fast so if you're looking for to use a uh, media to like, you know, obviously video edit and photo edit, you'll want something like this. And these are pretty good for on the go too. Yeah, and these are mm -hmm. really good for on the go. That's why we still have these here. John still uses it because he has some stuff that he hasn't backed up onto the server yet. Um, but then this thing has 64 terabytes of memory. So they'll last us for a very long time. And this video that you're watching here right now is being shot on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. So it takes up a little more memory than our, you know, our Canon 6D Mark II or even our iPhones. So we need the, the speed of the read speed from this thing. So we'll be able to ingest and edit the videos. Um, and then for, obviously you got a UPS, you need a UPS. What's so. a U, like a UPS shipping account? Or? No, <laughs> well, that's something else you might need for home office. So, uh, <laughs> but what the, what's the UPS you're talking UPS about? UPS is a, is a backup power, uh, uh, power supply. What does so. it stand for? Um, actually, I don't know. I just know they're called UPSs. So um, I kind of, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I did not think of that one. I just know they're called UPSs. Got it. Uh, so uh, it's a backup power supply in case the power goes out. Uh, the last thing I want is for my, my server to be like wiped out for whatever reason. Mm. And uh, so that's, that's the last thing that you want, that anybody wants. And then the server obviously, and then we got a network switch. What are all those fans? All these fans here, they're all actual, well right now it's, it's off actually, because mm -hmm. that's the other thing. You don't hear it, it's not on right now, because if I had it on, um, that you wouldn't be able to hear me talk. Yeah, it's just, it's just really loud. So it's off right now. And yeah, the fans are just for cooling. And then we have the network switch here that allows us to connect you know, obviously up to like 23 plus devices. And then obviously the network stack up here too as well. So pretty we're, fresh. We're thinking of the future when it comes to our content. So we want to make sure that we have what's necessary uh, in the office and even right now right here to build out for incoming people to come in and help us uh, obviously uh, subcontract people out to work for us. So now that Caesar showed you his setup, I stuck with Mac only because it's a lot easier, it's clean, it has a lot more design programs. It's, for me, it's a lot simpler. Uh, PC is really complicated. But my desk setup right here is pretty straightforward. You got a regular table from Ikea that I picked up for like 50 bucks or so with the, with the, with the legs about 60 because it is adjustable. I can lift it, raise it, leave it, but it's not automatic. Um, either way, the, the laptop I got is a 2018 MacBook Pro, and I just got a regular Asus display, which I just plug in from HDMI with this anchor outlet here is really cool. It allows you to plug in HDMI, your USB, your SD cards, your micro USD cards. It allows me to really work efficiently from this little spot. I think the coolest part about this setup and the reason that I love MacBook is the fact that it, it is compatible with, all, with everything that Caesar set up here. Uh, more importantly, I'm able to connect to the uh, server with this little thing here. It allows me to connect directly to the internet so I get super fast speeds at all times. And uh, this external drive is for on the go. And I think what I love most about these types of systems is, you know, PCs are cool and everything, but I could simply close this thing up and I could take my tablet like this. And now what I can do is I could literally go outside and get on some online Zoom calls and set up a, a our workstation from anywhere that I go. This thing right here is like a ten dollar piece. So when I'm traveling and I'm and I have my backpack and I just want to take my system with me, I essentially take all of this and now I got my laptop, my keyboard, my mouse, my Logitech mouse. Everything's wireless. I can set up and be comfortable instead of you know I'm getting a little old, so my neck hurts sometimes if I'm staring down at the screen when I'm sitting down. So this is a big help being able to take something like this. But I want to show you guys how this setup even works for anything that we do out here. So come on out. So now that you guys got to see some of the behind the scene where the magic happens, I wanted to show you guys the workspace of how we do everything online, whether it comes to videos, whether it comes to virtual meetings, whether it comes to virtual events, 
or just connecting with people on this new post pandemic world. The tablet is amazing because not only is it good for creative designing and video and planning, it's amazing because you could also use it as a teleprompter. So this setup that we got here allows us to quickly and easily set up our live streams. We're able to talk directly to the camera and I could actually mirror my computer screen to that tablet so I'm able to see everything that's going on there while being able to work on here, which is a really cool setup and it's something that we recently found. Uh, before this, we were just using the camera with the, with, the, uh, with the computer screen as its main function, but now we have this cross compatibility, which I think is amazing that Apple has been able to figure out for us. So if you guys are considering to have a setup like this, you'll know exactly where to go. Again, if you guys haven't already heard, everything that we're mentioning in this video is gonna be available through the links in the description and they are affiliate links and those affiliate links help us to create more videos on this channel such as these. So if you guys can use those, greatly appreciate it. So let's start with some of the lights. I think that uh, C's is the guy to really talk about it, but I do know a little bit about it as well. Um, so I think, I think I can pull this one off. I think uh, you can, I think you can. <laughs> So this lights right here, this is the Aperture 120D2, has a number two right there, it's the light storm. And uh, what's really cool about this light, and if you guys are thinking about investing into any lights, I would highly encourage that you consider this light right here. Um, it has a lot of different features that we haven't even really explored yet, but it allows you to like really brighten up a scene, somewhat brighten it up, it allows you to do a lightning storm, all kinds of visual effects. It's a really cool light. Um, so this kit, essentially what it comes with, it comes with this head as well as this controller and the light itself, but then you have to purchase this dome, which is the dome two. It's a lot bigger. This is a big one. At first I questioned Caesar for this purchase because I was like, yo, how is this going to be versatile in anything that we do? But it's been one of the best uh, purchases decisions that he's made because this thing scatters light really nicely and we could break it down and carry it in a nice little like suitcase looking thing and we could set up at scenes. It's pretty versatile because it is pretty light. Uh, that's what I love about it, is that you could essentially go like this, take this thing out, and you now have a light that you can control in any scene. They do have a smaller one in case this is pretty heavy for you because you do have to have a nice workout um, while you're doing that. They also have the ability for you to just throw on a battery pack on here, which is really cool. So now you can go virtual without having to need a power cable for a few hours. This camera here is the main camera that I started with more recently. Um, it's, it's amazing for photography as well as some HD videos. So we use this a lot for B cams and we're filming right now on a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, which is, a, which is an amazing camera. It just requires a little bit of knowledge and expertise in video editing and, and videography, where Canon is a little bit more beginner friendly. So if you guys are thinking about getting into shooting videos or content for your brand or business, I highly encourage that you go with a setup similar to Canon or perhaps a Sony. Um, they have more beginner friendly setups, which allow you to not have to spend so much on the back end to try to figure everything out. Now, what I really liked about the setup that I designed, as you guys could see, it's a, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, what I really like about this desk is that this desk is, it's auto, sometimes it works, most of the times it works. <laughs> and uh, essentially it's automatic, so you could set it, you can have different settings here, which is what I really like about it. You can have four different presets, so if I just want to work from it, we'll pull a chair behind me, I can just sit down and start working. We could also lower the, the cameras so I can be talking if it's more of a workshop setting. And then if I just want to talk to the camera and perhaps do some shorter type of form video or, or live q and I'm able to just lift this thing up and it's back to business to the settings that we already set for the loft. I, I think the key is to be as versatile as you can with your setup. So how is it going to function when life is chaotic, right? Because that's the reality of things when you have a kid, when, you, when you're working from home, maybe you have kids that are working and going to school now. The key is to try to be as, as uh, flexible and as, uh, as, as easy to set up and tear down as possible so you can move things to the side and, and bring a bunch of other stuff in if you need to. Um, these, these shelves behind me, I often get, I often get asked where I, where I got these shelves. I got these ones at Ikea, guys. I'll also leave the links to those down below. But these shelves are really nice. They attach to the wall. Uh, they come with the screws where you could attach it just to the actual drywall where you don't have to find a stud, 
which I thought was really cool because trying to find a stud and align things is really complicated if you've done any type of woodworking. Um, and then, so yeah, so these are really nice. And then we just have, this is the camera that I, the, the second camera that I had, the 60D. And I just have some of the stuff here that we shoot with. Uh, all of these shelves are available at Ikea, as well as this t-shirt rack, which allows you to just hang some of your garments and some of the displays that you want to showcase. This was also an Ikea piece. I believe it was like less than 20 bucks. The frames are all Ikea. This whole, this whole setup back here is Ikea. <laughs> Ikea, I like it. If you're thinking about having some starter lights, starter lights like these ones from newer are really versatile as well and, and, and very price point efficient. So these ones allow you to control how bright they are. So as you guys can see there, boom, you can control the brightness and we can also control the temperature. So if you're going for more of a warmer look, you can control the temperature there as well, uh, which is really cool because these lights on their own are about a little bit more than a hundred bucks for a kit of two. Uh, what's really cool about them is that they are also powered by a battery, which you could charge. You can put two batteries in there and it'll give you out the gate a few out, maybe two hours of, of light time. As they get older, you'll get about 30 to 40 minutes of, of light time on each battery. Um, so you could also plug into power, but these are really good for just moving around if you want to film something kind of quickly. Now, a lot of this equipment that we showed you guys today wasn't acquired all at once. I didn't go out and spend all this money to get everything here. I bought everything slowly as I needed it. So my best advice to you guys as you go out and think about purchasing some of these things is to start with the pieces of equipment that are gonna make the best return on their investment. Meaning for me, it was investing into the Apple ecosystem with the MacBook Pro. That allowed me to really fine tune a lot of the work we were doing creatively as well as business-wise because it has all the tools that we need. Um, so now that brings us into the tools and software that you guys should consider as a lot of these things are going to help you drive and grow your business. Uh, the apps that I'm going to share, the best part about them is that most of them have a freemium model, meaning you can get started with no cost and then as you need to purchase new features or people for them, then you're able to pay for those things as you go. Now perhaps one of my favorite apps of all time has been the Slack app. This one right here has been awesome because it allows us to communicate with all of our virtual team members. So if you're building a virtual business and you're wanting to work with people from all over the world or in your own backyard, Slack is a great place to communicate and bring communication into a centralized place. Now, email is still good. I, I like to use email, but I use it more for very pointed projects or outside collaboration uh, where Slack is all internal based, meaning, uh, hey, what's the status of this content piece? Or, hey, what's the status of this video? We're able to organize a lot of our information there. Asana is an amazing tool for the organization of projects. So the way that we use it is we have a couple of different things that are in the pipeline, like let's say video edits and uh, we're able to assign those video edits to the people that are need to edit them and we give them the deadlines that they need to edit them by. Asana is an amazing tool for that. I'm able to leave my notes as well as any titles um, and we can communicate more efficiently that way instead of trying to find out what I meant or what he meant. Now, of course, the MailChimp app is a great place to start your email campaigns that allows you to easily retarget and communicate with people in your community. So if you guys have ever downloaded anything, you guys will have seen that we send you more resources, more information, as well as updates to things that are happening throughout this channel in our community. So that's a great place to send out and kind of keep the communication and tabs outside of the social platforms. We have Zoom for all the meetings, and then we have ViscoCam, which is a great place to actually just edit your photos. And they recently started doing where you can edit your, um, your actual videos too, which is kind of cool. As you guys can see, we work from here, we live from here, we also do a lot of content, we organize a lot of meetings, and a lot of team members, a lot of projects, all through the space that we have here. So, the biggest takeaway over the last few years of working and living from home has been the fact that you need to be able to separate as best as you could your home and your work. Meaning which rooms are designated for work, which times are you gonna be at work, right? Even though people are walking around and you're still living in your home, you have to be able to set that time apart. So if you take anything away from this video, it's that you need to be able to separate your work and your life as best as you can, and you can accomplish it by having setups dedicated to working, right? So if you have a space that's dedicated to filming and you have a space that's dedicated to your work and your meetings, people and your family will be able to respect that a little bit more than if you just 
post up on a dinner table with a lot of Kentucky Fried Chicken and you have your Popeyes and your Chick-fil-A all scattered across, then it invites other people to just come sit down and, 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 and bring their food and eat right next to you while you're trying to work as well. So keep the spaces separated, keep them clean, keep them as best organized as you can, and that will make the biggest impact to your work-life balance as you're growing your brand. I wanted to take a moment to give an update to you guys on the work-life family balance. It's been, uh, it's been, it's been a little difficult, um, but it's been beautiful because I've been able to spend time with my daughter. Uh, but I think it's also time for us to grow out of this space and actually take our entire operations to the next level. And because of that, I wanna share with you guys that we are moving into our first office headquarters studio production facility. That's right, we're going into an office warehouse where we're gonna house our video production, our e-commerce, some of our actual design process, everything is gonna be housed under one roof finally, instead of it being scattered across multiple different properties and, and storage units and things that we do, it's all gonna be under one roof. So we're excited for that. We finally signed the lease on that and we are gonna get started on moving into that space. So I invite you guys to watch those videos associated with the build out. In case you guys are at a stage where you're considering to get your own space outside of your home, we'll talk about the things that I learned throughout the process, things that I've seen work and things that don't work. And that way you can navigate it just a little bit more so you can learn from my failures or lessons in that. So I highly encourage that you guys check those out as we publish them. And I hope that you guys have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, a Happy Holidays, and uh, you guys are able to make the best of this 2020 ending and uh, make the best of 2021 as it starts. And remember guys, anything that mentioned in this video, Check it out, affiliate description down below. That's right. You know, <laughs> give us a Merry Christmas and we'll give you guys a Merry Christmas with content. So yeah. down below guys. Down below if you guys want to purchase anything to support, that'd be awesome. Thank you.